Hey everyone, Elite here and today I'm sharing with you how I colored my Jane Davenport art journal cover. So this takes <laughs> bravery and courage. <laughs> I'm always scared to mess it up. This is my third Jane journal. Uh, I like the large ones and those only come with the plain white cover. If you get her smaller journals, then there's also the possibility of getting it with a printed cover, which is beautiful. It has it has her art on it and it's just beautiful. But the large ones only come with the white one and it is pretty also if you leave it plain. But I'm all about the color, so I really wanted to paint mine. And the other, uh, my previous two other journals, I've also painted the cover with something very just abstract and pretty colors. So I wanted to show you how I painted it. Super, super simple, very, very easy to do. You can totally do this yourself. You don't need any skill. Uh, you just need to have some color. And I did gesso this before I added my watercolors. So I am using liquid watercolors and you can see the right side is already done and dry. And now I'm doing the left side, which is actually the back cover. And surprise, surprise, I'm going all rainbow here. <laughs> and I'm using a mixture of Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolors and some PH Martin's radiant watercolors. I recently got the pink fresh ones in my hip kits. They are beautiful, intense, lovely. I think they are pigment based as opposed to the radiant watercolors, which are dye based if I'm not wrong. Um, what's the difference? As far as I know, I think the ones that are pigment based are more light fast. But honestly, I don't really care. My journals, first of all, they have a cover and they're not just, you know, sitting exposed to direct sunlight so I'm not worried at all about that and I also I'm pretty sure if you you know sprayed it with a fixative or added a layer of some varnish on top that would probably solve that problem but I'm not an expert on light fastness so I just wanted to mention this uh, maybe I should talk about things I <laughs> know more about <laughs> and that's doing huge messes in my art journals. So the point is to let it drip and let it flow. And I started with kind of an initial application of color, and then I can go back and add more where I feel it is needed. Uh, and this is like really, really fun. So the watercolors will flow where there's already water. And look at that. This is really like therapeutic stuff and the cover is thick and the color kind of soaks into the fabric. It's kind of like a canvas, but it doesn't, you know, it didn't um, sip through the whole thing. So you can kind of, I used quite a bit of liquid here and I'm pretty sure the gesso uh, also helped the color flow and protected the the cover itself. So I do highly, highly recommend um, using gesso. I don't know how it would work without it. So if you have tried it and you have some input, you're welcome to leave it in the comments so that me and others can read it. But I just, I don't want to take any chances because I knew I was going to add a lot of water and I didn't want to risk, you know, having all that water sip through the canvas and into the cover. So yeah, just add water, water and watercolors. And of course you can use also something like uh, fluid acrylics. The golden ones are really, really lovely. So you can use those and get a similar effect. Um, I just love watercolors and I have them on hand. So that's what I used. And I'm adding some splatters really having fun with it. And what can I say? This is
fun, fun stuff. <laughs> so the higher you hold your dropper there, the more kind of splatter you'll get. It does get messy, so make sure you protect your surface or clothes or whatever. Um, because if, if you drop like a few of those, if you drop, use the dropper from high up and then you use a few drops in the same place, then it really kind of splatters all over the place. So just be mindful. And I hope you'll make something similar because this was a lot of fun to make. And of course, you can do this also in your art journal. You don't have to just use this for a cover or a scrapbook layout, um, anything. This fun technique, if there is a technique here, I just call it, you know, messing around with watercolors and splatters and all. <laughs> this is really simple, very satisfying, and very relaxing. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you were brave enough to paint the cover of your journal. And I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.